In the words of Gene Hackman as Lex Luthor in Superman IV, The Quest for Peace, I made you, and I can destroy you. Without Fox News, there is almost certainly no President Donald Trump. No other media outlet has advocated for this president and his policies like Fox. No other media outlet has defended most every move Trump has made, no matter how outrageous, like Fox. Spy in the Trump campaign. I'm shocked to hear that they put a spy in the campaign. Deep state spying scheme. And no past president has ever so directly promoted a media outlet like Trump has done for Fox. She's my friend and she's your friend, Justice Jeanine. Laura, how good has Laura been, right? Do we like Tucker? I like Tucker. All of which makes the recent rift between Trump and his favorite media network all the more intriguing and also enlightening. The situation is this. Fox News is, like CNN and MSNBC, hosting town hall events for some of the 20 plus Democrats running for president in 2020. In the run up to the Fox town hall with South Bend Mayor Pete Buttigieg in mid-May, Trump took to Twitter to blast away. Quote, hard to believe that at Fox News is wasting airtime on Mayor Pete, as Chris Wallace likes to call him. Fox is moving more and more to the losing wrong side in covering the Dems. They got dumped from the Democrats' boring debates, and they just want in. They forgot the people who got them there. Chris Wallace said, I actually think, whether you like his opinions or not, that Mayor Pete has a lot of substance. Fascinating biography. Gee, he never speaks well of me. I like Mike Wallace better. And Alfred E. Newman will never be president. End quote. <sighs> Now that prompted this response from Britt Hume, the senior political analyst for Fox News. Quote, say this for Buttigieg. He's willing to be questioned by Chris Wallace, something you've barely done since you've been president. Oh, and covering candidates of both parties is part of the job of a news channel. Fight, 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 fight. fight, fight, fight. <laughs> Trump's willingness to publicly scold Fox News is a relatively recent development, but it's growing more and more common as the network continues to dedicate more and more coverage to the 2020 Democratic race and, yes, a little less time to Donald Trump. Quote, so weird to watch crazy Bernie on at Fox News, Trump said after Bernie Sanders' town hall on Fox News in mid-April. Not surprisingly, at Brett Baer and the audience was so smiley and nice. Very strange. And now we have at Donna Brazil? End quote. The most important word in that previous tweet is we. Why does it matter so much? Because Trump reveals by the use of that word that he sees Fox News as his network. They're all in this together in Trump's mind. How could Fox News turn on Trump by giving airtime to the Democrats who want to beat him in 2020? I ask. Sidebar. There are a group of journalists, Brett Baer, Chris Wallace, Shep Smith, jump to mind, on Fox News who shouldn't be lumped into this all-Trump, pro-Trump, all-the-time category. They tend to shoot straight. End of sidebar. Now, you can understand why President Trump might have the perception that he and Fox are on the same team. There was no collusion. Everybody knows that. Everyone's always known that. There has been no collusion. They won't find any collusion. It doesn't exist. This migrant caravan, it's not a caravan, it's an invasion. Large, well-organized caravans of migrants are marching toward our southern border. Some people call it an invasion. It's like an invasion. And they're coming in with diseases such as smallpox and leprosy and TB that are going to affect our people in the United States. People with tremendous medical difficulty and medical problems are pouring in, and in many, in many cases, it's contagious. By one tally, at least 19 people have either worked for or currently work for Fox News and have also worked in the Trump White House. And these are not low-level staffers we're talking about. Bill Shine, a former co-president of Fox News Channel, served as the de facto communications director at the White House. One-time Fox News anchor Heather Nauer served a stint as the lead spokesperson for the State Department. And she was replaced in that job by Morgan Ortegas, who was, you guessed it, a Fox News contributor. Now, the pipeline works the other way, too. Hope Hicks, the former White House communications director and a close confidant of this president, is now the chief communications officer at Fox News' parent company. Hmm. Then there are the high-profile Fox News personalities who remain as employees of the network but are openly rooting for Trump. 
The network's morning show, Fox & Friends, is shameless in its pro-Trump boosterism and has the rating success to prove that that strategy works. The president's Fox friends did what they could to put a smiley face on the fact that their artist of the deal lost more than a billion dollars in 10 years. And I'll warn you in advance, you're about to see someone spin so hard, it could very well make you throw up. It is an interesting look, though, at how New York City real estate developers worked in the 80s and the 90s. If anything, you read this and you're like, wow, it's pretty impressive, all the things that he's done in his life. It's but, beyond what most of us could ever achieve. I, I, quote, sorry to say, but at Fox & Friends is by far the best of the morning political shows on television, Trump tweeted, not sorry at all, in late April. Quote, it rightfully has by far the highest ratings. Not even close. End quote. But not even Fox & Friends can come close in Trump's heart to his two biggest cheerleaders in the Fox family, Lou Dobbs on Fox Business Network and Sean Hannity on Fox News Channel. In May alone, Trump tweeted or retweeted five comments made by Dobbs or guests on his ardently pro-Trump daily show. And Trump has more than 60 million Twitter followers. And then there is Hannity, who Trump has granted more interviews than anyone else on Fox News, or anywhere else. As of May, Trump had done more than 40 interviews on FNC. That's more than double the number he did with ABC, CBS, NBC, MSNBC, and yes, CNN combined. Quote, I noticed your record. You had virtually record ratings last night, Trump told Hannity in March. So that's because you have credibility. Quote, credibility. Yeah. yeah, that's the ticket. Trump views Fox News as his guys, we. And so when Fox occasionally operates like a real news network, he gets annoyed. And because Trump is Trump, he lashes out at them. Now, while Fox News will likely ignore Trump's criticism and shoot for more Democratic town halls in the future, because they do well in the ratings, the network also very much understands where its ultimate ratings bread is buttered, with positive, verging on fawning coverage of the president. And that is the point. We make new point episodes every Tuesday and Thursday. Check them out.